Hello, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Choma Mama. So I wanted to just share something um, that has been trending, you know, just add my voice to it, and it's about Mubad. Um, when I heard that Mubad had died, to be honest, I was sad. I was like, oh, young musician, gone, you know, really sad. But I didn't know who he was. I felt I didn't know his music until someone was like, no, wait a minute, you do. And I realized that I knew a few of his songs. My trainer, who used to come and train me um, a few times a week, I need to get back to that, my trainer. He used to come a few times a week. He loved his music. And a lot of times, that was, the you know, the music that he would play while, you know, I walked out. So I knew his, I knew his songs. And I was like, this is a talented guy. Listen to the lyrics, good, you know, good lyrics, good music. And though I'm not really into secular music much, I could appreciate that his music was good. And I was like, wow, you know, young talent gone so soon. And when I started hearing all the stories, like, you know, most Nigerians have been following, you know, we started hearing about how his, um, um, his former, um, is it labor boss or whoever, you know, was bullying him, physically assaulting him, you know, arranging for him to get beat up, um, not allowing him to, his song to get airplay, all sorts of horrible things were happening, you know, sponsored by his, you know, by his former label, Naira Mali, and I heard um, Sam Larry as well. I was like, what is going on here? You know, how do you know people who are supposed to support you, even if you've parted ways for whatever reason, how do you have that kind of power to do that to that person continuously and make his life miserable? Because there's so many things on video showing that they made his life miserable. You know, they did all sorts of things. He, you know, he would repeatedly say how he had been attacked and all the things that they were doing to him. You know, and that was, you know, and... Right now, everybody is crying out about, look, we need to know what happened to Mobad, and we need to make sure that people are not treated this way for any reason. So many things have come up, you know, come up, you know, other people, a DJ here and there, a DJ here, an artist there who have also been, you know, had this kind of issues where they were bullied by not only Naira Mali, but other people, you know. So it's really, really, really sad when you think of this kind of issues, um, and, you know, and it brings me to the topical thing I want to talk about now is bullies, you know, bullying, because this is what it is. Mobad was bullied. He was severely bullied. And today, you know, you know, see, see how the story ended, you know, there are bullies everywhere. Bullies in the workplace, bullies at home, bullies in school. I want to focus now on something that really worries, you know, a lot of parents is, is my child being bullied? You know, is my child being bullied? There's some things you might be wondering, how do I know if my child is even being bullied? There are a few things you can look at to realize that, look, there might be something going on. One, your child is withdrawn. A child who is normally bubbly is withdrawn. A child who is quiet is even quieter, you know, mood swings and things like that. And then a child who you see them, all of a sudden, they used to enjoy going to school. Now, they don't want to go to school anymore. They're suddenly afraid and fearful when it comes to school. Other way you can know that, look, this child might be going through bullying or, of some sort or something is happening, is that this child is all of a sudden very fidgety. They're always hiding things and acting funny. That could also be a sign that maybe they're, you know, engaging in some kind of porn online or something. When they see you, they want to hide it or someone is sending them messages that are not nice, bullying them. It could be, you know, it could be online bullying, you know, cyber bullying. You know, so those are things that you should look out for to say that there might be something happening with this child and sometimes some people will actually tell you a child will tell you mom there's something going on so so and so did this to me so so and so did that to me so those are you know those are the the major ways you can look something is going on and if you do find that something is going on what do you need to do what can you do first of all you need to take action you don't sit down and just say oh don't worry take action Go and speak to the authorities or whoever is in charge and make sure something happens. I'm not saying you should go and fight in your child's school and beat up a teacher or one of those things that some parents do. But go and take strong action. If a child is involved, get the other child parents involved. Call a meeting. Let them know that, look, your child is doing this to my own child. You know, and it has to stop. Get to the bottom of it. So it's very important that you take action. I think that it's really important that you need to do is to build your child's confidence. Talk to them, assure them, reassure them, affirm them, and say, look, you know what? Don't mind that bully. The bully has nothing on you. You are fine. Because those kind of things can actually affect one's, you know, mental state. So you need to do a lot of reaffirming of your child. I think that you need to do if your child has been bullied, is that you need to also look at how you can um, do some role playing. 
you know, even if they've not been bullied, this role playing is actually a very good one because you can say, okay, what if you're bullied? What if someone does this to you? What should you do? How can you respond to it? Should I just keep quiet? Should you, should you just keep quiet or should you actually do something? What can you do? So by the time you, that role play will give you, expose your child to the kind of things they should do if someone does try to bully them. So you need to speak out, you need to encourage that child to speak out, seek help. And it comes from having a good, you know, open, open communication lines with your child so they can actually tell you when stuff is going on. If for any reason they don't tell you, maybe they are scared, maybe they are scared of how you react or they are scared of the, you know, the aggressor, then you need to look out for the signs that I mentioned earlier. Remember, mood swings always seems to be hiding something. Um, not looking forward to going to school or wherever all of a sudden. And also maybe things are getting missing from your house. And another sign that there might be some bullying going on. Things are getting missing from your house. So because the bully might be asking them, bring this, bring that. You know, so that's another sign that something might be going wrong. So look out for those small telltales. There are you know, obviously other things that you can look out for, but these are just a few that I've mentioned that you can look out to see that there might be something going on with this child. And of course, if a child that was doing well in school, doing very well in school, suddenly their grades drop, it could be a sign that something is going on. Do look, you know, try and look into it and find out what is going on. So now I've spoken about things you can do as a parent to see, you know, if your child, if you to see, to learn if your child is being bullied and to prevent them. But I also want to speak, you know, back to Mobad again. Bullying can occur, you know, occur on every level. You don't want, you want to make sure that your child is not the bully themselves. Because the truth is that we're talking about, oh, we don't want to be bullied, we don't want our children to be bullied. What if you're raising a bully? You need to be conscious of the way you act in the house. Are you yourself a bully? Are you bullying your spouse? Are you bullying your children? Are you bullying the house help? Is the house help bullying your children? That things you know, you want to make sure that the children have um are seeing the right visuals because it's about do as I do, not do as I say. Modeling is so important for children today. So make sure that you're raising your children with empathy and kindness, so that they are being kind and empathetic towards other children. Also, make sure you're raising them with confidence as well, because a lot of bullies they have serious issues where they are, you know, they lack confidence. Um, they have some sort of serious, you know, complexes and they are now looking for how to make themselves feel better by looking down on somebody or beating down somebody, you know, verbally insulting somebody or whatever. Because they think, oh, I have an area of strength over this person. I'm bigger than them. I have more influence than them. So I'm going to use my power, my perceived power or my, you know, whatever it is to lord over them, which is exactly what Naramali and, or whoever did to this young man while he was alive, you know. So we need to make sure, we can, I'm sure we can all relate to having bosses who bully, because it, a, you know, an adult bully, start out as a child bully. So we want to make sure we're not even raising bullies as well. So that is really, really important. And the truth, and I will, tell, I will say it again and again, we need to be careful the kind of things we even support. I was never a fan of Naomi's music. I thought his music was quite reprehensible, I'm not trying to judge him or anything, but the truth was that we need to be careful. This is somebody, if you look at his record, from even when he was in the UK, if he was a gangster or whatever, and he comes home and he's been celebrated. We need to look at the kind of things that we are celebrating. This culture of abuse, this culture of drugs or whatever it is, let's look into it. It's, it's, it's rife in the, you know, in, the, in the entertainment sector. It's, it's all over the place. Let's be careful because a lot of people are going to be, end up being role models to the young people who we are trying to raise right. So if we are the ones ourselves supporting them, what kind of message are we sending? Let's watch them. Let's watch out the kind of people who, the kind of music we play, the kind of people who uh, we support in terms of just, like I said, just playing their music you know, at our point and dancing and grooving to it. And this person is, has a negative, um, you know, has very antisocial, toxic behavior. The person is a wife beater, the person is an abuser. You know, you have no business supporting such people. That's just the honest truth. You know, just wish them well and, you know, and move on. So I hope I've been able to help with this video. And once again, I want to say that may the soul of Mobad rest in peace. And I really hope we are able to prevent our children from being bullied, not raise bullies, and ourselves be protected from bullying as well because it's something that is really, really, really hurtful and very harmful. Have a good day. Take good care of yourselves.